YouTube has gotten a bad name over the years for being a place that may be unsafe for kids, where kids at any time could come upon inappropriate videos, blue language, and or post inappropriate videos themselves. Well, times are changing. YouTube is more and more becoming the de facto place for creativity, hosting educational videos, and a wonderful place to host a teacher's own learning stream. This tutorial will show you how to create your own YouTube channel that's a safe, fun, and engaging place for students of all ages. Step 1. Create an account on YouTube.com. Remember that the account name will also be the channel's name, so be creative. Step 2. Channel Options. Under your username, go to My Channel. Here, you get plenty of options for customization. Let's start with Settings. Under Settings, you can create a title for your channel. Keep in mind that underneath your title, the subtitle will say your username's channel. Step 3. Next, we'll go to Themes and Colors. Here, you can customize your channel's colors. By clicking Advanced Options, you can further customize link and text colors, and in this case, you can even upload a background image. Here, we created a Mathademics logo, and it's tiled in the background of the channel. Here we'll upload our logo and click Repeat Background. Step 4. Modules and Playlists. Here you can decide what content you'd like viewable on your channel. Under Modules, you can choose from many different options of content that you'd like on your channel, from comments to moderator, also subscribers to your other subscription activity. Step 5. Channel Benefits. There are a handful of benefits for using a YouTube channel, especially for using it with students. First of all, no ads. For teachers who want to create an appropriate place for students to view, this is extremely important. Secondly, comment moderation. By editing your comment options, you can choose to turn on moderation so that no inappropriate comments can make their way to other students' eyes. Third, direct channel links. When you are on the channel view and you click on a video, you can then copy that link to be sent directly to the channel view of that video. This can be placed into a teacher website or a document. This way, the YouTuber controls where the user goes. If you choose the outside link, students can be exposed to other videos that may or may not be related to your topic. One last thing, the importance of tagging. When creating a video, tags are of the utmost importance. Watch what happens when I upload a video labeled for education, but tagged tasteless. When I go to the outside link of that video, guess what kinds of videos they're lumped with? That's right, tasteless videos. However, when I tag this video, math, education, tutorials, how-to, teaching, learning, see what other videos come up when we view this video outside the channel view. So, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial and can see how easy it is to create an appropriate professional learning space with YouTube. Thank you. Goodbye.